Well, hello. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is entitled Duncan v. Becerra Part 3. Um, many of you who've been following along know that Duncan v. Becerra is the case dealing with standard capacity magazines that was uh, a decision was handed down by Judge Benitez. Um, part un was when the plaintiffs in Duncan filed for a preliminary injunction and the and Benitez granted that injunction. The state appealed that injunction, which is frankly fairly highly unusual. Um, and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals said, "You, why are you here? You know, let the case try out on its merits. Uh, part du was the biggie. That was actually when Judge Benitez issued his summary judgment in the favor of the plaintiffs in Duncan v. Becerra, which culminated in us having the ability to have Freedom Week, where we all ran out and bought our thousands of standard capacity magazines. Part trois is now the appeal that the state had filed before the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. And last week, we had the oral arguments in that appeal. Um, Major Taramina and I did a uh, drinks and cigars with a coffee and major presentation last week where we discussed the oral arguments and how they went. Um, and uh, many of you joined us for that. I thought it was, uh, it was enlightening. And uh, you all got to see me get uh, somewhat polluted on, uh, on video, which was always an exciting experience, too. Um, in this particular blog, which you can see on our website under the blog tab, we go over the, some of the finer points of the, uh, of the oral arguments. The one thing that I do want to point out, and a lot of, you know, I, I say this, and, and I'm just as guilty, okay? Oral arguments oftentimes bear no relationship to the actual outcome of the case, okay? Um, and, and any lawyer will tell you this. You know, we look at the tea leaves and we immediately put out these disclaimers saying, look, we have seen thousands of times where oral arguments would suggest that one side is absolutely going to win and then the ultimate decision comes out and it's nothing like what the oral arguments actually happen. So that's entirely possible here. Uh, but we still, because we're, you know, human creatures, we still want to be able to have some sort of predictive, you know, thing by watching oral arguments to see how they're going and everything else. I will tell you that our side's attorney, Aaron Murphy, did an absolutely exquisite job of articulating our position, uh, was able to interweave common use directly into our arguments, and it was somewhat interesting because the justices, when they were questioning the state, did so in a very adversarial format. When they were questioning Miss Murphy, they were doing so in a much more inquisitorial format. That, that's important because it does show kind of how the justices may be thinking. What is also very fascinating to me is that Justice Callahan kept on bringing up a strict scrutiny analysis. This is, uh, this is going to be interesting because we've been waiting for the Supreme Court to come out with a determined, you know, a decision in New York Rifle and Pistol versus the City of New York, where we're hoping that the Supremes articulate a strict scrutiny analysis, but it's entirely potential possible that the Ninth Circuit might actually beat the Supreme Court to uh, coming up with this. So, anyways, it's fascinating to watch. We should hopefully have a decision anywhere from 30 to 90 days from now. Um, but in any event, read the blog. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me directly at stephen at artemishq.com. Um, one programming note, every Tuesday from 4 p.m. until 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I am going live on a Zoom broadcast where it's literally called Office Hours with Stephen. And you can log in and, you know, look at my alcohol content being depleted and I answer, you know, as best as I can, any legal questions that you have. Ideally, firearms related. If you start getting into marriage and family dissolution, I'm probably going to have to take a pass. But in any event, join us for that. As always, train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. And above all else, stay safe.